autopsy report of Mado Mali Samuni reveals gruesome details. The body of Mado Mali Samuni was found inside her refrigerator, with her mouth gagged and wrists and ankles bound, while traces of cocaine were also found on her body. The autopsy report, completed by the Los Angeles County Department of Medical Examiner, listed Muni's cause of death as homicidal violence. Muni, 31, was found dead in her downtown Los Angeles apartment on Sept. 12. She had been beaten and bound before being stuffed into her own refrigerator, according to the autopsy. Mooney was last seen on video surveillance at her apartment on set. 6. Law enforcement officials entered the residence on set. 12. After the model's mother requested a welfare check. The autopsy also revealed blunt force trauma to parts of her body. Toxicology tests found traces of cocaine and alcohol in her system, according to the autopsy report. The blunt force traumatic injuries observed at autopsy are generally not considered acutely life-threatening on their own. The medical examiner wrote in the autopsy report. However, based on the circumstances of how Ms. Mooney was found, these injuries suggest she was likely involved in violence physical altercation prior to her death. Therefore, it is uncertain what role drugs or alcohol may have played in her death. If any, the report reads, no arrests have been made in the case. A Los Angeles Police Department spokesperson could not offer updates when contacted by people. According to the victim's sister, Jaden Paulin, Mooney was two months pregnant. She was super excited and I know she really wanted a kid, and it's something that she has always talked about. Paulin, 24, told people earlier this month. She also said her late sister's boyfriend was heartbroken about the incident. Before discussing Mooney's pregnancy, Paulin said their family did not have many details because of the ongoing investigation. From what we saw at the coroner and mortuary, my sister was in a struggle and it's devastating. It's a very monstrous act. I wouldn't wish this on anyone, Pauline said. She also recalled when her family showed up to Mooney's apartment after the welfare check. It was honestly so chilling, she said. I've never experienced anything like that before. Different parts of the carpet were ripped up and the refrigerator was gone. Whatever happened that night was very scary and traumatic. I know she was so scared, 